In this GeoMapApp tutorial on available data, we'll look at an earthquake animation in the Portals menu. Let's look at the NOAA Female Earthquake Catalog for a section of the Juan de Fuca Ridge. This dataset is listed in the Portals menu under the Location and Timing of Seafloor Earthquakes, and when we select this item from the menu, a window appears asking us to select a specific geographical area. We want to look at the Juan de Fuca region, so we'll accept the default Sources Array and hit the OK button. The little red squares that have been plotted in the map window show the location of individual earthquake events. In the lower pane is shown a histogram of the number of earthquake events with time, in this case going from 1991 on the left to 2008 on the right. By placing the cursor on one of the thin grey vertical lines, and dragging the line towards the central peak, we can narrow the time window that is displayed. And in this case, earthquake events that fall outside the time range are no longer plotted in the map window. To play an animation showing the time series of the earthquake events, we use the buttons in the lower left here. The default animation speed is 10 frames per second, However, for clusters of earthquakes like those shown in the window here, it's usually more helpful to select a slower animation speed. We do this by changing the number in the frames per second box here. Let's choose, say, 5 frames per second. And to start the animation, we hit the play button. When an earthquake occurs, the epicentral location is lit up in red, and for display purposes only, that colour then fades through orange and yellow. And if we replay this animation by hitting the play button one more time, we can see that this particular earthquake swarm appears to start in the north and propagate down towards the south, and it's thought that this relates to a dike injection event. The animation can be saved using the Save button here to save a .mov format of file. In the right pane we can switch to another geographical area here, and in the Events drop-down menu we can select a specific event that's in the catalogue. The display of earthquake locations can be turned off and on by ticking and unticking the plot box here, the image on display can be saved by using the File Save As button here. And finally, more information about the dataset can be obtained by clicking the button here. More information on GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.